Madam Speaker, <coughs> with your permission, I rise to make a statement on the actions taken in the aftermath of ship collision with, which took place off Kamraj Harbour. Two vessels, namely MTBW Maple and MT Don Conjuram, while crossing each other, collided at 3.45 a.m. on 28 January 2017 of the Kam Roger Harbour. The vessel emptied Don Kanjivuram, which was carrying 32,813 tons of POL, suffered a rupture which led to oil spill. There was no casualty or injury to the crew members. I visited the collision site on 30th January 2017 and inspected the area where the vessels were anchored and gave appropriate directions to the Comrade Port officers. Comrade Port deployed oil boom around the vessel to contain seepage. After examination, the damaged vessel was towed safely and berthed at Comrade Port on 30th January 2017. This vessel has already discharged 30,013 tons of POL and the remaining quantity is expected to be discharged today. The major step has been prevented and further possibility of oil spill. A massive cleanup operation was launched in Tiruvallur, Chennai and Kanjiburan disease by engaging more than 2,000 persons at various sites including Ernavur, Chennai Fishing Harbour, Marina Beach, Desen Nagar, Kottivakam, Palavakam, Nilangarai and Injangupam beaches. The Coast Guard has been coordinating the cleaning operations jointly with Chennai Port, Kamraj Port, the state government and its agencies, Indian Oil Corporation, NGOs, cadet trainees from maritime education institutions and fishermen. A team of senior officers from Ministry of Shipping, Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas and DG Shipping were sent for an on-the-spot inspection of the affected areas and to coordinate and review the cleaning operations. They also met the Chief Secretary, Government of Tamil Nadu, who has also held review meetings and is regularly monitoring the rem remedial measures being taken. The district administration is actively involved in the cleanup operations. The Chennai port and Kamraj port have set up control rooms. At Ernavur, which had the maximum drift of sludge, booms have been deployed along the sh shoreline to contain the oil spread. More than 1,000 people were deployed here with portable pollution cleaning equipment for shoreline cleaning. The required logistics and equipment support has been provided by the Chennai and Kamraj ports. Sufficient gum boots, gloves, buckets, mugs, <coughs> liquid hand wash and drums have been provided to facilitate manual cleaning. In addition, three super suckers and submersible pumps have been deployed to remove the oil spill. Coast Guard has also sprayed oil spill dispersants for removal of oil spill. The total quantity of sludge which has been removed till today is 65 tons. In addition, super suckers have removed 54 tons which contains 70% water. More than 80% of the work has been completed and most of the residual work is expected to be completed within two, day, two or three, three days. The Indian Oil Corporation has provided special bioremedian material for treatment of the collected oil sludge for its safe disposal. The Coast Guard ship and helicopters are carrying out, carrying out regular sorties for continuous monitoring of oil sleep. If oil spillage is accumulating in, is stopped anywhere, manpower and material under the overall supervision of Coast Guard will be deployed. Director General of Shipping has instituted an inquiry under the Merchant Shipping Act to ascertain the cause and contributed factors that led to the action. Government is taking all the measures to manage the situation. I will also be visiting the affected area again to take stock of the situation. Thank you.